Happening now, Russia reportedly gives the U.S. its plan for placing Syria's stockpile of chemical weapons under international control. This ahead of a high-stakes meeting tomorrow between Secretary of State John Kerry and Russia's foreign minister. This after President Obama's latest announcement last night that he will postpone any military action to pursue a diplomatic solution with Russia and through the United Nations. Joining us by phone from Doha, Qatar, former U.S. ambassador to the U.N. and Fox News contributor John Bolton. So the president originally scheduled this speech, uh, Ambassador, to press Congress to authorize military force. Now he uses the speech in part to say he's not going to use military force. What did you take away from what he had to say last night? Well, I thought it was uh, both humiliating and embarrassing to the United States. This Russian initiative, or as the administration now seems to say, it was actually their idea, which to me just makes it even more embarrassing. But whoever's idea it is, is a huge political victory for Russia uh, in stepping into the center of this in Syria, dominating the agenda, uh, increasing its political clout throughout the Middle East, uh, and almost certainly delaying for a long time, if not forever, uh, any military strike. Really a brilliant move by the Russians, more dithering and, uh, and inconsistency by the United States. Uh, I, I think it's, I think it's uh, probably the end of any serious conversation in Congress about a military strike. One former Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Navy sent me an email and said that the, the administration, in his view, is ceding world power to Russia right now. Well, look, it has been a tenet of American foreign policy for decades to keep Moscow out of the Middle East, and this just invites them in. And this is just the beginning. Uh, I think it's only a very short matter of time here, maybe not by Russia, maybe not by Syria, before somebody says, look, we all know why Syria had chemical weapons. Chemical, biological weapons are the poor man's nuclear weapon. The reason Syria had chemical weapons is because of Israel's nuclear weapons. So what we should be talking about here is not Syria giving up its chemical weapons. We should be talking about a Middle East free of all weapons of mass destruction by all countries, nuclear, chemical, and biological. Let's you know, never let a good crisis go to waste. Let's take advantage of this. Let's make a bold breakthrough here. Let's put it all on the table. And if you think the negotiations about Syria's chemical weapons would go slowly, these negotiations could last infinitely, and it would put the Russians in an even stronger position, put Israel in a difficult position, uh, and just paralyze U.S. Uh, action. All right. Ambassador John Bolton, we could talk to you for hours about all of this. Uh, I know you're in Doha, Qatar. It's good of you to call in. Thank you. Thank you.